Thank you. You know, Liz gave us a little bit of latitude, and I'm going to take advantage of it, because admittedly, I've never done a Pecha Kucha. So once I hit go on the presentation, my staff has set it up for 20 seconds. I don't know how to change it, so <laughs> I'm not going to hit go. I'm going to give you a little background first on myself. I am president of an architectural firm called JGMA. The two projects that I'm going to touch today are about light in education and the architecture of education. So I know that applies to a lot of you in the audience, but the two schools, they're interesting when you contrast them. One is a brand new elementary school called the UNO Soccer Academy, and the other one is called the Instituto Health Sciences Career Academy. First one is K through eight, the other one is a high school. The Soccer Academy is a ground up facility. The Instituto project is the transformation of old discarded real estate and the uplifting of it into a contemporary learning academy. So there's the background. So my firm, just quickly, 20 seconds worth, we do all kinds of work. I have a great background because I've been able and fortunate to work all over the world. But most importantly, my calling was to get involved in community-based work here in Chicago. That's what inspired me to start my firm two years ago. In those two years, it's been a great success story. From organizations like UNO and Instituto having the courage to hire a new firm, somebody that looks at work differently. So about the two projects, they're in Chicago. UNO in Gage Park, Instituto in Pilsen. These are the built images, but we're going to back up before we get into what it finished like or what the end product was. First, what we call framework. Um, as it relates to light, I think is, this is really about enlightening a community. Instituto runs out of a 30-year-old motel in Pilsen, and we're committed to building the high school in that area. It was about showing that neighborhood the commitment, but also that there's promise in what could happen in Pilsen. Uno said, I'm going to go into Gage Park, into an area that most people haven't built in. And we are going to use education or an educational project as a way of being that beacon of hope for the students, but also for the community that it could inspire development under whatever definition you can come up with. So form, how does light inform the building? Instituto, this is the existing building, discarded. Really hadn't been used for many years or there were these miscellaneous uses inside of it. But then how can you start to transform? Yeah, physical light, absolutely that plays a role. But the transformation is also, I, I, I like to say, psychological. We wanted to give the students, the community, and the faculty a clear understanding that they were getting something new. Uno, as it relates to light, is that beacon. It is the first step in future growth in that area. And yes, some will say, if you build it, they will come. But that's a lot of pressure to put on an elementary school. And it had better succeed. So the function. Light in plan. Uno is the antithesis of most schools that I've seen in Chicago. And those are fortress-like caves. All due <laughs> respect to CPS, most of the schools that I've seen, when you go inside and you're in a quarter, damn, it's dark. So on this one, I move the quarters to the outside. And I said, I'm going to have the students interact with the light. But more importantly, I'm going to have the community see without me screaming on the outside saying it's an elementary school, that in fact education goes on inside. Instituto's the opposite. I have these existing constraints and I had to put that corridor down the center. Trust me, I tried every other way. But when you're in that corridor and you'll see the images, it's all about light and up, an uplifting experience. So the fruition of both, starting with Instituto. It is a great story done from concept to built reality in a little more than a year. It opened up in September of this past year. Uh, it has been a great catalyst just for the community and the students in that area. 
Underneath you can see the old. I still wanted to have some semblance of what was there. If you drive by it, Western and Blue Island, take a quick look because the color will change in front of your eyes from the green to a bronze. And it's about the transformative quality of what that building could be like. So when you go from the outside of it and start to feel the spaces inside, it's all about light. It's a four-story building. It's about culmination. When you get to that upper level, it's for the seniors, but it's also where the common area is, the cafeteria, and it is strategically located as it relates to light so that the students can see downtown. This is not an idea of mine. It's from the president and founder of the organization because he told me when the students get up there and they see downtown, he wants them to clearly understand that they could be leaders of downtown to Chicago, but also more importantly that their school and Pilsen is related to the city, Uno. Again, ground up school. It is a beacon. It is about hope. It's about something positive that could happen in Gage Park. Again, different strategy. The corridors around the outside and what that could mean. It's a different kind of plan arrangement inside for teachers. It's a school that I can say proudly, no matter what anybody says, do you like it, do you dislike it, and we all have our opinions. But what I can tell you tangibly is since that school opened in September, the attendance rates at the school are 99%. The students want to be there. Thank you. The, the students want to be there. That means the most to me. Lastly, it goes to the future, um, other work that we're doing, and I think this is another great story. It's not K through 12, it's higher education. Oh, excuse me. This is just some of the interior images of UNO and what the quality of those spaces are like. The slide's going to transfer to the future. Um, higher education and the connection or the opportunity to provide hope for students to go on in their educational process. Uh, Northeastern Illinois University has taken the strategy to build their first off-campus building. It's called El Centro. They've had it on Pulaski. They're going to build it on the Kennedy at Kimball and Belmont. This building is about light in every way, shape, and form. It's a way of taking a building, putting it in the community that's going to use it, not put it on their campus. It's a completely different strategy. And I applaud Northeastern for taking this step. The construction has started. Um, it is going to take a little over a year for it to be realized, but it really isn't very much way, like I said, about bringing light to a community. Thank you.